All right, welcome, welcome back, back to the, the channel. channel. Today, we're, we're going to be watching Game, Game of Thrones, Thrones Season 4, four episode, episode 2. In the last episode... Yeah. Tywin tried to send Jaime to Castle Rock, but Jaime was like, nah, fuck all that. I'm not going to Castle Rock, okay? I am going to stay right here, and I'm pretty sure... His secret motive was because he wanted to stay with Cersei, not because he just didn't want to go. He he mainly wanted to stay with her, but when he finally tried to make a move on her again, she wasn't having it. She was like, you took too long, you know? And so, hey, can't have your sister, you can have Big B, who looks like her enough, so... You, you even said yourself, are you sure you're not a Lannister to Big B, you know? That's Jamie's type, okay? Jamie, his type is Lannister's, alright? If you're a Lannister, you're his type. Okay, and then, I don't know her name, because I, we've barely seen her in the show, but the, the girl who works for Cersei caught Shay leaving Tyrion's room, and then she went to go report it to Cersei, because she was like, hey, you told me to tell you if anything is important, if I see anything important, if I see anything important, come tell you. So, RIP Shay, I guess. And then, okay, then we got introduced to a new character, a prince, O'Brien, I think is how you pronounce it. I, I'm gonna learn this episode how to pronounce it, don't worry. But, so he got invited to the royal wedding for Joffrey and Marge. And, okay, he kind of explained the, uh, he kind of explained the Tyrion why he hates Lannisters because he just had beef with those two in the brothel just on site or whatever. And he said the last time he was invited to a wedding was, you know, it didn't really end too well. Last time he came to a wedding in King's Landing for a Lannister. And so after knowing all that, like, why the fuck did they invite him back? If that's what happened the last time, like I get it's like formal or whatever. And it's like polite to have other kings and princes there. But, like, like, no, dude, they should fucking ghost his ass. Like, what the fuck? Because, <laughs> like, you know he's coming back for blood. He's not going to just let this slide, you know? If Walter Frey is going to kill Rob over Rob just not burying his daughter, this man is coming back for blood. All right, he's killing someone. I don't know, probably not anytime soon, probably in episode 9, but it's just, like, like, bro, no, I'm never talking to this man ever again. If if I, okay, especially if Tywin knows that's what happened the last time, he gave the mountain orders to kill his sister and his niece and nephew. Immediate ghost. Are you kidding? I'm blocking him on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything. I know they don't, I know they don't have all that. I, what I would do is I'm shooting down every raven going wherever the fuck they're from, so... You know, I'm never sending a raven over there ever again. Also, one thing I didn't realize until someone pointed it out to me is in the beginning of last episode, when Tywin was making the sword, he was actually making it out of... He was actually forging a new sword out of the Stark's ancestral uh, sword that, got, that was passed down through thousands of years. Fucking savage, dude. Ugh. <laughs> that, like, okay, I didn't realize that that sword had a lot of history through the stark family and this will just took it apart made a new sword here you go jamie it's like bruh that's fucked that's so fucked that's just more disrespect to the starks like like why you gotta do this like that yeah i say us like i'm one of them I feel like one of them anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this See, I waited that time. All right, anyways, I'm just not wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this. If you want to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be on Patreon. So, let's get started. What the fuck is Ramsey doing, bro? What are we doing with Theon, bro? Are they hunting down? Oh, wait. <laughs> Bro, are they hunting this girl down for sport? Wasn't it, Rick? Fine shot, master. Oh, my Maybe. God. Dude. 
They've broken Theon. We have to reward the hounds now. They did all <laughs> wow. Looks so pretty now. Were those the two girls that tried to seduce Theon a couple episodes ago? <laughs> no, they just. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, I fucking hate Ramsey, dude. This fool's literally a fucking psychopath. Like, he he's probably worse than Joffrey. In terms of just, like, mental health-wise, he's probably worse than Joffrey. And you can tell with Theon, he just watched it. Like, he, I felt like he wanted to do something, but he just knew he couldn't. You know, it's like... It's not healthy enough to do anything in that situation. They would over they would kill him immediately. I have just the one. Uh Braun. Braun's gonna teach Jamie how to fight again, but with his other hand. Dude, that's so sad to see Jamie. Like he fell from grace. I mean, like, I get I get all his instincts are wrong now, because like it all depends on his right hand. But it's like Jamie that muscle memory is going to come back. So you're going to learn the muscle memory from your right hand and your left hand so right quick. Right here is where I fuck his you wife. <laughs> He's a screamer, that one. Bronze a fucking savage. He's definitely my favorite side character. First time to attack a man. Yeah. Plan on growing it back. Dude, Braun's just, dude. Okay, the difference between Braun and Jamie now, it's like Braun's like I'm sure he's just an average swordsman, and he's just clowning Jamie, he's just toying with him. Yeah, I guess it's like learning to throw a football with your left arm. There's no shot I'm ever learning how to throw it with my left hand. There is no fucking way. So like, I kind of get it. Fuck you. Fuck Brother. you. What did you do to him? Demoralized them. You made me acting Lord of the Dreadful. I acted. Okay, I really don't like either of them right now, but I kind of like how Bolton's bitching him around. Oh my god, dude. I place far too much trust in you. Yeah, he did. How could you let me stand before my father unshaven? It's Jesus disrespectful. Christ. Sorry, mother. Yeah, Bolton doesn't like what he did, what Ramses did to Theon. You can tell. I feel like they, I think, I think Bolton feels kind of bad for Theon too. He's like, look, he's our enemy, but like this is, this is fucked. Oh, that's right, Rick. You didn't know. I know he's like a brother to you, but my father put a knife through it. How do you feel about that? Theon slits the right now, please. Please. Uh, Take them out for the family. For our family. And I'll reconsider your position. Fuck your family. Dude, uh, dude, that was a horrible way to... Horrible way for Theon to find out, dude. Like, I'm rooting for Theon the most. I really want him to get out of this situation. I really hope, really hope Theon makes it out. To hang the next whore he finds you with. Mm hmm. Ever known your father to make an idle threat? Fuck no. From House Tyrell. Tyrion, if you really love her, you'll send her off. You may never see her again, but you know she'll be safe. It's very hard. But. Her time's running out. Like, I. Yeah. She's the whore. I told you. <sighs> I saw all the subtitles. I'm abroad for the. Joffrey looks so stupid with that crown. Now that the war is won. Looks like a Burger King crown. Shut the fuck up. Thank you, Uncle. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Made out of Rob sword. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, fuck your book. Every time I use it, it'll be like cutting off Ned Stark's head all over again. God. What's wrong, my lion? Don't call me that. You need to leave right now. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of you losing you. I'm not going to run she. from them. We'll fight them together. No, you're Shay. I am your 
worse than your mind. Yeah. You're a whore. Oh. Sansa is fit to bear my children, and you are not. Uh. I can't have children with a whore. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and Bronn's gonna make sure she gets on the comfortable life in Pentos. Yeah, Bronn's gonna make sure she goes. Bronn will escort you to your ship. <laughs> Okay, I mean, like, Tyrion was very aggressive with that approach, but I feel like Tyrion probably felt like he had to say all that to, like, get her to actually leave, because if he tried to be... And lead us from if the he darkness. tried to be polite about it... What the fuck is going on? I saved you well! Lord of light, you know, if he tried to be too polite about it, it wouldn't get through to her, so he had to do that. Just burn the bridge. Make sure she, just to make her not want him. And so she goes. And I don't, what the fuck is going on right now? Fucking full of terrors. God damn. I guess we're making sacrifices here. My lord took them, did you see? No, dude. No. Some Nazi shit, bro. I'm sure they're more than grateful, my queen. Dude, you're, you're fucking delusional, dude. He, he's just like, he's thinking, you're all fucking delusional, bro. Dude, Melisandre's got everyone like this. Do you remember? Of course I remember. I feel like she's trying hella hard to just please him. She needs the rod. She's my daughter. Bro. You will not strike bro, her. We're not killing a daughter. We're not killing a little girl here. Dude, please don't. Come in. Oh, okay. And it frightened you? Sir Axel was my uncle. He was always kind to me. <laughs> They're in a better- There's only one hell, princess. The one we live in now. Ooh. Damn. I mean, she's not wrong. Direwolf POV. <laughs> Who's Direwolf? Because they're all fucking dead. Hold on. No, I was just Brant. Okay, never mind. If you're trapped in summer for too long, you'll forget what it was to be human. Can't, so you can't be in summer or anything for too long. Father and father, you'd forget your brothers and sisters. You'd forget Winterfell. Well, guess what? They're all fucking dead. It's all gone. I'm gonna go live in my fucking dire wall forever, and I'll, at least I'll be happy. Oh, okay, this is the same kind of tree that Sam was near when he encountered the White Walker, I think. In the tree. Okay, so what Khaleesi saw. Okay. I know where we have to go. North. Okay. Where are we going to the Iron Throne? Because it showed the throne. And it showed it in the same vi vision that Khaleesi's had in season two, I believe. It was the same like scene or whatever. Maybe they just didn't have enough footage to reshoot it, but or if the same one could mean something. So I doubt it has anything to do with anything. But it's what I noticed. I saw Ned in there, but maybe just, that's just like PTSD kind of stuff. But or they could be going to King's Landing. With this kiss, I pledge my love. Fuck you! I hope your wedding gets fucking ruined. Oh, I like her hair. We have a new queen. Yeah, her life's more in danger now than yours, probably. I hope Joffrey doesn't get laid after this. I hope they don't get to have, like, their ceremony where, like, they bed them or whatever. It's, however it goes, their stupid-ass tradition. You saw her board the ship. Aye, she's on it. Okay. And you saw the mission from the last person they ever followed. <laughs> no, he's just saying. He's just saying. I mean, at least she's not going to die now. Unless they literally go out of their way and track her down to make sure she's dead. Killing a man at a wedding. Horrid. Yeah, it's fucked up. 
be given to the poorest in his city. I feel like that was not his decision. That was Marge's decision. You know? I feel like if anything, Joffrey would be like, fuck no, we're not doing that. But she had to talk him in. Yeah. It's much of a piece of shit he is. Says she'd murder you in your sleep. If you somehow managed to put a child in her first, I would. she'd murder him too. None of this will happen because you'll never marry her. I will. That's what Jamie's like. I, I'm gonna. Be. Neither will you. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie's jealous. Not such a fascinating story, I'm afraid. I'm sure you have many fascinating stories. When you fought a bear. That's, that's a pretty fascinating story. Would you love him? Oh, oh maybe. Cersei's jealous. She probably doesn't trust Big B because it definitely looks bad for her to jump from camp to camp. A queen, Marjorie. The queen said they would is be... telling you the leftovers will feed the dogs. Cersei. Oh, you will. Okay. Fuck you. And you're not queen anymore, bitch. So, dude. I read, dude. I, I don't really like Cersei, if I'm being honest. I don't know, dude. I just, I can't. A gold dragon to whoever knocks my fool's hat off. Oh, dude, leave this guy alone. Why? Small pleasures. Your Grace, Lord Tywin, Prince Oberyn. Oberyn, Oberyn. Okay. This is the Lord Han Tywin Lannister. Yeah, don't you meet your knife to the throat? <laughs> of women and children is considered distasteful. Should be. Yeah. What a fortunate thing for it's you. Distasteful. It's fucked up. Clear the floor. There's been too much amusement here today. King Joffrey, oh, Renly, Stannis, Rob Stark, Balon Greyjoy. Dude, stop. It's away, away. Oh, careful. Dude. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my this is really, really disrespectful to the Tyrells, too. Like, yeah, they're... Uh, Lores doesn't like this. Marge doesn't like like dude. Oh. Yeah, comfort sounds so. Joffrey's <laughs> too immature to be a fucking king. This. No one likes this, except the Lannisters, dude. Those are I'm gonna fucking kill someone eyes. Like, those are I'm gonna kill you eyes, by Sansa. I think you should fight him. This was but a poor imitation of your own bravery on the field of battle. Mm -hmm. I speak as a first-hand witness. Yep, he's a coward. Lose his virtue hours before his wedding night. Charlie's not gonna do it. He's a bitch. He's not about it. Oh my god. Yep, see, he just does bullshit like this. Means you're too cowardly to fight. Your grace does me a great honor. You didn't fight other you didn't fight either, bruh. Oh Bring me my goblet. What good is an empty cup? Fill it. Oh, you're just gonna pour it on my head again. Dude, Joffrey's off one in this episode, bro. This is kneel before your king. Oh my god. Look, the pie! <laughs> My hero. Bro. Bro. Dude, you could tell all the Tyrells just feel bad. Lady Olena feels bad. You're great. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> He's choking! 
thing. <laughs> Die. 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 Joffrey! Come with me now. Joffrey! Joffrey! If you want to leave, you have to leave. Wait, did he, did Sir Dantes fucking do something? To whatever he's eating or whatever he drank? Or ate? Joffrey! Oh, he's not choking, dude. He was poisoned. Looks like Tyrion did it. Is he dead? Well, it's about fucking time. Oh my god. Your king. Take him. Take him! Take him! Okay, that's kind of fucked up by Sir Dantis to not take Tyrion with them. But, no, fuck you, Cersei. You deserve this. Fuck you. Oh my god. Bro, it finally happened. It finally fucking happened. That's the end of the episode, too. Oh my god. No way. I'll be right back. I will be right back. Come on, Molly. We're gonna go celebrate. Come on, Molly. Come on. Come on. Dude, dude. Oh my god, that hit my fucking computer. Oh, it's good though, it's good. We are not doing this. In memory of Joffrey, we're doing this to celebrate. That was not water. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay. Dude, no fucking way. Joffrey died. No way. He... Uh, no way. Dude. Dude. <laughs> You know what? You know what? That's the least they could fucking do after the red wedding. This is the least they could do. This is the only way to make me feel good. Now, like, that was the only way it was gonna make me feel good. And they fucking did it. You know what? You know what? I'm still hurt about Rob. I'm very much still hurt. But I don't feel as bad anymore. I really don't. I ache. Like, I'm still hurt, don't get me wrong, but, like, now, I feel like it's a little more even, you know? We, like, you know, if anything, that cancels out Ned, okay? And then Rob, I mean, yeah, like, Joffrey had nothing to do with Rob's death. Well, I mean, Tywin did, technically, but I feel like we still need to lose one more Lannister, like Cersei, and then it will be even, and then it will be good. But, like, dude, I, I, you could tell, like, Cersei, that hurt her so much. Because, yeah, her son just died. But, like, bro, I don't give a fuck how she feels. Like, I really don't. Like, I, okay, half of me likes Cersei, but then half of me really doesn't. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know. She kind of just has, like, a horrible fucking attitude. And I hate the attitude she has. But honestly, dude, Westeros was just saved on this day. Westeros can live in peace, finally. So wait, who does that mean is king by default now? It's not Jamie. 
Um, hmm. Hmm. Who's King? It's probably Joffrey's like brother now, which don't know his name, but I'm pretty sure he was at the table. So what, is he by? Is he king by default now? I I don't know. <sighs> dude, I'm so fucking happy, dude. I I'm so fucking happy right now, dude. By the way, this was this was just water. I filled it up with water. There's no shot. I'm chugging that much. <laughs> I gotta do shit. I gotta. I gotta do shit tomorrow, okay? I can't be at a commission tomorrow, <laughs> but oh my god, dude, this is probably my favorite episode so of Game of Thrones. Maybe not number one, but like top three for sure. Top three favorite episode now. Motherfucker had it coming. All right, all right. Dude, this fucking disease is finally gone. Thank God. No, Joffrey was a fucking disease, bro. <sighs> yes. Okay, but honestly, dude, Ramsey might be just as bad as Joffrey. So, like, Ramsey might be that bad. You know, like, but thank God. Like, thank God Ramsey does not have any power whatsoever. You know, he has power over Theon, but like that's I can't imagine Ramsey in power as a king, dude. That he might be worse than Joffrey. So but so okay, guys, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I wanted to scream during that. I wanted to scream. But it's a little late in my house right now. Everyone's kind of sleeping, so I had to be I couldn't scream, right? I couldn't. But inside I wanted to. I really wanted to so that's why I kind of like paused for a second and I was like and then I was like oh grab get the vodka get the vodka so but <sighs> Joffrey is finally dead yes okay okay honestly I kind of wish it happened in a different way a little different like okay like I'm happy that he's dead don't get me wrong but like I wish it was like a more brutal way on it. Like, I mean, choking the death and being poisoned, that's horrible. Like that's okay. Actually, if I'm thinking about it, yeah, like choking is a hor Yeah, that's probably a horrible way to go. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like for me, if I can't breathe, I start to freak the fuck out, you know, thinking about like just drowning too. Mm, the fucking I start freaking out, dude. I can't like I watched the Titanic when I was like five. And like now I have a phobia of fucking drowning and just like dying because I can't breathe. So I guess it is a pretty brutal death, but it's not as like satisfying to watch. You know, if like, I don't know, something happened to him, like he died in a battle or something, that would have been a lot more satisfying. But what I'm not, I'm not going to complain. I'm just happy that it happened. That's all. I'm just happy that it happened. Okay. I know I said in the intro, Pris the Prince of Brian, Brian, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um... I know that I said he's coming for his revenge. So I kind of think he had something to do with this. Maybe, maybe not. But I probably probably enjoyed the fuck out of that. He was probably just like, you know, like the entire time. It probably made him hella happy seeing that. So, like, dude. 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 Yes. And, okay. So now, I've, so now it looks like Tyrion did that, which kind of fucked i i'm pretty sure Sardantis had something to do with that because he was like sansa we gotta get the hell out of here right now so you know and like even the look on sansa's face she was like yes she was like yes i can't believe this yes i don't know kind of fucked how he kind of left Tyrion there i guess i know yeah you can't really bring Tyrion with you there because then like they're all just gonna chase you they're all gonna be focused on Tyrion while you and sansa get out of there so i kind of get it but like now Tyrion's kind of fucked I, I, I can't see him like getting out of this. I really can't. So, really hope nothing happens to Tyrion. Probably will though. Joffrey had. He was such a fucking hateable character, dude. He was so easy to hate. Like it was okay. Honestly though, it was kind of fun hating on him, just because it's like, I'm not gonna say I loved to hate him. But I liked to hate him, if I'm being honest. He had to go. He had to go. I, I would say it, it feels a little too early. But, like, nah, dude. He should have... No. Like, it's... Ne for Joffrey, it's never too early. Fuck, no. He he could have... He should have died in, like, season two. No, not really. But, 
it's never too early for him to die. He had no redeeming qualities about himself. Nothing to re nothing about him was redeemable at all. The only redeeming thing about him was that he was played by a great actor. I will give him that. Like the actor that played Joffrey, amazing. Like amazing actor. He portrayed it so well. Just like, mm. okay, because like, okay, if Joffrey could have had this, it could have been the same like character, but just if it had a different actor who couldn't portray him as well, it would have just been kind of pathetic to watch, honestly, and kind of just like. Eh, you know because you get what you're trying to do but they're not really portraying it that well but like no the actor shout out to him amazing job and i do i kind of feel bad though because i do remember some of you guys leaving some comments back in like season two or like season one maybe and saying like how the actor had to actually retire from acting because he just got so much hate you know which kind of sucks because it's like yeah this show kind of ruined his career then because it's like he literally can't do anything else and like yeah if i if i see him in another movie i'm only gonna think joffrey i'm gonna be like fuck joffrey but i feel like i could definitely separate the actor from the role pretty well and not let that affect him if i ever see him in other movies and stuff you know i might if i if we watch a movie he happens to be in you know i will probably joke about it but i won't like have a biased opinion towards his character and what I, if he's in another movie we end up watching so but yeah dude honestly these are my notes from the show this episode <laughs> ignore my handwriting my handwriting is awful dude sometimes i'm like reading and i'm like what the fuck did i write like i can't even read my own handwriting but okyay so basically to recap this episode Tyrion sent shay off and he did it in a way to where i kind of feel like he had to be aggressive about it and tell her all that just so you know it would make her not like him or like she would kind of it would get to her head be like look him being like look i still love you a lot but it's not safe like that wasn't getting to her you know he had to kind of tell her off like i can't be with you you're not fit you're not a suitable wife for my kids and everything and yeah obviously it hurt her really badly but hopefully it saved her life if we never see her ever again in the show i'm gonna take that as she never died so i hope we see her again but i kind of don't because i don't want to see her die the only other thing I really wrote was Bran can't, Bran can't stay in an animal for too long or he'll forget everything, which honestly, after everything he's been through, he probably wants to forget it all. So, you know, and then Ramsey's going to moat Kaylin, or I think that's how you say it or whatever. And then, like, that's really all I wrote down. But like, biggest thing is Joffrey got fucking waxed. Joffrey got waxed. So anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. If you comment down below what you thought when you saw joffrey die because like for a second i was like oh, he's just choking like just give him the heimlich like, you know he'll probably probably get out of this but then i was like oh wait no he's actually he's actually dead he got poisoned so yeah comment down below how you thought about that where how would you feel you know and if you like the video like the video thanks for watching